Where did you play your high school football? I actually played my high school football in a little place called Castroville, Texas. It was called Medina Valley High School. What position did you play? I played running back and fullback. A running back, fullback, and linebacker. Texas is so big for high school football. Yes. What kind of crowds did you get at your games? <laughs> they they were huge. I mean, talk about. I think that's maybe why I transcend uh, over here in the WWE NXT because we we worked in front of big crowds even in high school. I mean, we were 16, 17, 18 years old, and we were working in front of crowds 10, 12, 15,000 people. I, I, like, uh, like I was saying. Um, one Saturday night, we, um, my high school team and the rival high school team were both undefeated. And I, mean, we, I think that drew 12,000 people. I mean, from all from all different sorts. And it was, and just electricity and that atmosphere. Then you come here to WWE, and you still feel the same electricity. I'm, I'm still like I feel like I'm 15 years old back on the field again. You know, and, it, and no, it's absolutely incredible. So maybe that's, you know, that helped me transition to, to here into the WWE NXT a lot better. You went to college. Where did you go to college? Uh, Texas State University in San, San Marcos, Texas. And you ended up getting your degree. Yes, I did. Where did you get your degree in? I got my degree in exercise sports science uh, with a minor in business. So that's excellent that you were able to right. complete your schooling yeah. and get your college education. You have something to fall back on. Yes. And Dory. And Terry Funk, I believe, went to West Texas State they did. University. They did. And I'm just curious if you guys ever talked a little bit of college Texas football. Oh, yeah. Oh, we talked about, that was one of the biggest things we uh, um, drew together on was Dory and I always talk about Texas football. How, we, you know, how it was for him growing up and how it was for me growing up. He said I got a lot easier, of course, growing up. You know, as a, <laughs> you know uh, he would always joke around like that. So, But it was... No, that was one of the things that we we had a common bond on was uh, high school Texas football and uh, or college as well. You know, both the college football was huge, huge in his development of you know in professional wrestling as it as it mine. So that's something that we share. And I'll ask you two more questions okay. I wanted to ask you about Cleveland. WWE NXT yes. is going to Cleveland. They've already yes. sold out, which is awesome. Isn't that fantastic? What is it like? You're a tag champion now, yeah. and this is going to be like one of the first times that you guys are going somewhere else other than Florida. Outside of, yeah, outside the state of Florida. What is it like for you and this company to see it grow like it's growing, this this WWE NXT? Right. I, I, you know, for, for me and for probably WWE NXT, it, it's absolutely just wonderful. I mean, just to just to get the opportunity to go outside the state. I mean, here in Florida, I guess you kind of have like your fans and you come to all the shows, and which are great people. And they're absolutely outstanding. And, you know, they have their favorites. But now you have people that are seeing it outside the state. Now you get new fans kind of see it live for the first time. They've seen it on WWE Network. They see it on Network, but then when you get when you when you're in front of a live crowd for the first time, there's just a certain energy about it. It's just it's absolutely amazing. People, you know, they get drawn into it. You know, I mean, my first live event when I was a little kid. I mean, it was, was ten thousand people, and I just remember sitting there in awe. And it was just a, a wonderful feeling, absolutely awesome. And so, to bring, it actually be my first time going to Ohio. So, yeah, it's going to be absolutely electric, electric. I, I can't wait for it. And last one, your tag team partner. Yes. Has he taught you any Australian words? Sayings or anything Australian, and have you taught him anything Texas? <laughs> I've, I've actually been trying to pick up some of his language. You know, uh, I, my horrible, you know, impression of an of Australian accent will be anything I say is something with mate. You know, <laughs> which is, you know, of course the typical shrimp on the bobby or whatever. But that that's uh, but he caught me. Uh, uh, he got me saying a few things like uh, a gas station is a petty station. Uh, yeah, so just um, a sandwich is a zinger, which zingers over here are chicken fingers. Go to the ale house, yeah, yeah. ale house plug. You get a zinger, that's exactly yeah, what you get. It's a chicken finger, a zinger over there is a sandwich. So it's just, uh, yeah, it's just, it's, it's fun. You know, we, we get to teach each other uh, communication skills. And so no, it, it was a lot of fun. So he, he keeps on harping me because I kept calling him mate. You know, <laughs> I said, like, you know, I don't call him friend anymore. Or hey, hey, buddy. He's like, I was like, hey, buddy, mate. You know. <laughs> You know, that's just 
something that we always do just to kind of you know crack on each other. So, well, listen, awesome with the success and Thank where you've you come so from and where you've been where you are and where you're going. Thank you. I Thank you for taking it. the time. No, thank you, sir. Thank you.